Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In today's video, we're diving into a controversial and scandalous topic, the 20 worst SEX addicts in Hollywood history. From the golden era to modern times, these stars have made headlines for their notorious behavior and shocking secrets. Join us as we uncover the darkest sides of fame and the hidden struggles behind the glamour of Hollywood. Come along with us. Number 20. Mae West was a legendary actress and playwright who became a prominent figure in the 1930s. She is best known for her role in the film, She Done Him Wrong, in 1933, which showcased her bold and witty personality. West was not only famous for her talent but also for her complex love life, often pushing the boundaries of societal norms with her provocative behavior and outspoken views on sexuality. She was married twice, though both marriages were shrouded in secrecy and controversy. Besides her marriages, West was rumored to have numerous affairs with younger men, further cementing her reputation as a Hollywood sex symbol. Her most famous and scandalous relationship was with boxing champion William Gorilla Jones, which garnered extensive media attention. Mae West passed away on November 22, 1980, from a stroke. Her legacy in the arts is marked by her daring performances and significant impact on the portrayal of female sexuality in cinema. Number 19. Frank Sinatra was a legendary singer and actor who became a prominent figure in the 1940s. He is best known for his smooth voice and classic hits like, My Way, and, New York, New York, which solidified his status as an entertainment icon. Beyond his remarkable talent, Sinatra was also infamous for his complicated love life. He was married four times, each marriage capturing significant media attention. Apart from his marriages, Sinatra was rumored to have numerous affairs with high-profile women, including Marilyn Monroe and Lana Turner. His most famous and scandalous relationship was with actress Ava Gardner, a passionate and turbulent affair that was extensively covered by the press. Their relationship was marked by intense love and frequent conflicts, making headlines throughout their time together. Frank Sinatra passed away on May 14, 1998, from a heart attack. His legacy in the arts is marked by his timeless music, his significant impact on both the music and film industries, and his larger-than-life persona that continues to influence artists today. Number 18. Tallulah Bankhead was a charismatic actress known for her distinctive voice and flamboyant personality, who rose to fame in the 1920s and 1930s. She is best remembered for her role in Alfred Hitchcock's film, Lifeboat, in 1944, which showcased her compelling screen presence. Besides her talent, Bankhead was notorious for her complex and scandalous love life. She never married but was linked to numerous high-profile romances with both men and women, including notable figures like actress Hattie McDaniel and director John Barrymore. Her most famous and controversial relationship was with actress Hattie McDaniel, a bold and public affair that defied societal norms of the time. Tallulah Bankhead passed away on December 12, 1968, from double pneumonia due to influenza. Her legacy in the arts is marked by her unforgettable performances and her fearless approach to both her career and personal life, which continues to inspire and intrigue. Number 17, Lana Turner was a renowned actress who rose to prominence in the 1940s. She was best known for her role in the film, The Postman Always Rings Twice, in 1946, which solidified her status as a Hollywood star. Despite her undeniable talent, Turner was also notorious for her tumultuous love life. She was married eight times to seven different men, keeping her constantly in the headlines. 
Beyond her marriages, she had numerous rumored affairs, including with Frank Sinatra and Howard Hughes. Her most famous and scandalous affair was with Johnny Stampanato, a relationship that ended tragically when he was killed by Turner's daughter, Cheryl Crane, in 1958. Lana Turner passed away on June 29, 1995, from throat cancer. Her legacy in the arts is marked by her impressive filmography and her enduring influence on the golden age of Hollywood. Do you know about any of her rumored affairs? Comment, 1, if you've heard about them. Number 16. Gary Cooper was a distinguished actor who became a Hollywood icon in the 1930s and 1940s. He is best known for his roles in classic films such as High Noon in 1952 and Sergeant York in 1941, which earned him Academy Awards for Best Actor. While Cooper's on-screen persona was that of a strong and silent hero, his personal life was marked by numerous romantic entanglements. He was married once to socialite Veronica Balfe, but his marriage was overshadowed by his numerous high-profile affairs. Cooper was rumored to have had relationships with several famous actresses, including Ingrid Bergman and Patricia Neal. His most famous and publicly scrutinized affair was with Patricia Neal, which lasted several years and caused significant scandal. Gary Cooper passed away on May 13, 1961, from prostate cancer. His contributions to the arts are remembered for his exceptional acting talent and the lasting impact of his performances on the film industry. Number 15. Linda Darnell was a talented actress who gained fame in the 1940s. She is best known for her role in the film, Forever Amber, in 1947, which showcased her dramatic abilities and stunning beauty. While Darnell's career was marked by notable successes, her personal life was fraught with romantic complications. She was married three times, with each marriage ending in divorce. Beyond her marriages, Darnell was rumored to have had several affairs with prominent Hollywood figures, including director Joseph L. Mankiewicz and actor Richard Widmark. Her most famous and controversial affair was with director Joseph L. Mankiewicz, which was widely publicized and added to her turbulent reputation. Linda Darnell tragically passed away on April 10, 1965, due to burns sustained in a house fire. Her contributions to the arts are remembered for her captivating performances and her enduring legacy as a classic Hollywood beauty. Number 14. Errol Flynn was a charismatic actor who became a Hollywood legend in the 1930s and 1940s. He is best known for his swashbuckling roles in films such as Captain Blood in 1935 and The Adventures of Robin Hood in 1938, which established him as a major star. Flynn's off-screen life was equally dramatic, characterized by numerous romantic escapades and scandals. He was married three times, with each marriage capturing significant media attention. Beyond his marriages, Flynn was notorious for his countless affairs with women, many of whom were much younger than he. His most infamous scandal was a highly publicized trial in 1942. Although he was acquitted, the trial severely damaged his reputation. Errol Flynn passed away on October 14, 1959, from a heart attack and liver disease. His contributions to the arts are remembered for his adventurous roles and his lasting influence on the action-adventure genre in cinema. Number 13. Elizabeth Taylor was a celebrated actress who became one of Hollywood's most iconic figures in the 1950s and 1960s. 
She is best known for her roles in films such as Cleopatra in 1963 and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf in 1966, both of which showcased her extraordinary talent and screen presence. Taylor's personal life was equally captivating, marked by her numerous marriages and high-profile romances. She was married eight times to seven different men, including famous actors Richard Burton and Eddie Fisher. Beyond her marriages, Taylor was rumored to have had several affairs with other prominent figures in Hollywood. Her most famous and scrutinized relationship was with Richard Burton, whom she married twice, and their tumultuous love affair was the subject of intense media coverage. Elizabeth Taylor passed away on March 23, 2011, from congestive heart failure. Her contributions to the arts are remembered for her captivating performances, her philanthropic work, particularly in HIV, AIDS activism, and her enduring legacy as a Hollywood legend. Number 12. Zsa Zsa Gabor was a Hungarian-American actress and socialite known for her glamorous lifestyle and witty repartees. She was most prominent in the 1950s. Gabor's fame peaked with her performances in films such as Moulin Rouge in 1952 and Lily in 1953, which showcased her charm and beauty. Aside from her talents, she was equally famous for her complicated love life, having been married nine times. Her numerous marriages and rumored affairs with high-profile figures like Richard Burton and Sean Connery made headlines. Her most publicized relationship was with hotel magnate Conrad Hilton, one of her many husbands. This tumultuous marriage, marked by extravagant spending and public disputes, fascinated the media. Gabor passed away on December 18, 2016, due to heart failure. Despite her personal life often overshadowing her career, she left a lasting impact on Hollywood with her distinctive flair and memorable performances. Number 11. Roscoe, Fatty, Arbuckle was a prominent silent film actor, comedian, and director known for his physical comedy and larger-than-life persona. He was most prominent in the 1910s and early 1920s. Arbuckle's fame skyrocketed with his performances in films like The Butcher Boy in 1917 and The Bell Boy in 1918, where his comedic timing and physicality won over audiences. However, his career was overshadowed by a scandalous trial in 1921, where he was accused of manslaughter following the death of actress Virginia Rapp. Despite being acquitted after three trials, the scandal severely damaged his reputation. Arbuckle married three times, and his tumultuous personal life was often in the spotlight. Arbuckle passed away on June 29, 1933, from a heart attack. Despite the controversy, his contributions to early cinema, especially in comedy, remain significant and influential. The story about him and actress Virginia Rapp remains unclear to this day. Comment, too, if you believe he was innocent. Number 10. Jean Tierney was an actress celebrated for her beauty and dramatic talents, most prominent in the 1940s. Tierney's fame soared with her iconic role in Laura in 1944, a film noir classic that showcased her acting prowess and stunning looks. She was equally known for her tumultuous personal life, which included high-profile romances and a complicated love life. Tierney was married twice, first to fashion designer Oleg Cassini, with whom she had two daughters. Outside of her marriages, she was romantically linked to several notable figures, including John F. Kennedy and Prince Ali Khan. Her most famous and scandalous affair was with John F. Kennedy, a relationship that sparked much media attention due to Kennedy's rising political career and Tierney's star status. This relationship was marked by its secrecy and the public's fascination with their high-profile lives. 
Tierney passed away on November 6, 1991, from emphysema. Despite her personal struggles, she left a lasting legacy in Hollywood with her captivating performances and enduring beauty. Number 9. Charlie Chaplin was a legendary actor, filmmaker, and composer whose career spanned more than 75 years, making him one of the most influential figures in cinema history. He was most prominent in the 1920s and 1930s. Chaplin's fame skyrocketed with his creation of the iconic character, The Tramp, featured in films like City Lights in 1931 and Modern Times in 1936. Besides his immense talent, Chaplin was also known for his complicated love life and numerous relationships. He was married four times, and his romantic entanglements were often the subject of media scrutiny. Chaplin's most notorious affair was with actress Lita Gray, whom he married when she was just 16, leading to a highly publicized and scandalous divorce. The relationship was marked by legal battles and sensational headlines, making it one of Hollywood's most talked about scandals. Chaplin passed away on December 25, 1977, from a stroke. Despite his tumultuous personal life, Chaplin's contributions to film, including his pioneering work in silent cinema and his ability to blend comedy with social commentary, have left an indelible mark on the industry. Number 8. Lupe Velez was a vivacious actress and singer known for her energetic performances and fiery personality, most prominent in the 1930s and 1940s. Velez gained fame with roles in films like The Gaucho, 1927, alongside Douglas Fairbanks and her series of Mexican Spitfire comedies in the early 1940s. Her personal life was as dramatic as her on-screen roles, marked by a string of high-profile romances and a tumultuous love life. Velez was married once, to actor Johnny Weismuller, known for his role as Tarzan. Beyond her marriage, she had numerous affairs with notable figures such as Gary Cooper, Clark Gable, and Eric Maria Remarque. Her most scandalous and widely publicized affair was with actor Gary Cooper. Their passionate and volatile relationship captivated the media, with their intense arguments and reconciliations often making headlines. Tragically, Velez's life came to an early end on December 13, 1944, when she died from a drug overdose. Despite her personal struggles, Velez left an indelible mark on Hollywood with her dynamic performances and unforgettable screen presence. Number 7. Vivian Lee was an iconic actress best known for her remarkable performances and striking beauty, most prominent in the 1930s and 1940s. Lee's fame soared with her unforgettable portrayal of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind in 1939, a role that earned her an Academy Award and solidified her place in Hollywood history. Aside from her acting prowess, Lee was also known for her tumultuous personal life, characterized by high-profile romances and struggles with mental health. She was married twice, first to Herbert Lee Hallman and later to renowned actor Laurence Olivier. Beyond her marriages, she was rumored to have had numerous affairs, although these were often overshadowed by her storied marriage to Olivier. Their relationship, marked by intense passion and frequent conflicts, was widely covered by the media. Lee's battle with bipolar disorder and tuberculosis further complicated her personal life, drawing public attention. She passed away on July 8, 1967, due to chronic tuberculosis. Despite her personal challenges, Lee left an indelible mark on the world of theater and film with her extraordinary talent and unforgettable roles. Number 6. 
Clark Gable was a charismatic and talented actor best known as the King of Hollywood, most prominent in the 1930s and 1940s. Gable's fame skyrocketed with his iconic role as Rhett Butler in Gone with the Wind in 1939, which earned him an Academy Award nomination and cemented his status as a leading man. Besides his acting achievements, Gable was also known for his complicated love life and numerous high-profile romances. He was married five times, with his marriage to actress Carol Lombard being the most notable. Outside of his marriages, Gable had several rumored affairs with famous actresses such as Joan Crawford and Loretta Young. His most famous and scandalous affair was with Loretta Young, which resulted in the birth of a daughter, a fact kept secret for many years due to the societal norms of the time. This relationship was marked by secrecy and public intrigue, making it one of Hollywood's most whispered about scandals. Gable passed away on November 16, 1960, from a heart attack. Despite his personal controversies, Gable's contributions to cinema, including his ability to portray complex characters with charm and depth, have left a lasting legacy in Hollywood. Number 5. Diana Doors was a glamorous actress and singer known as Britain's answer to Marilyn Monroe, most prominent in the 1950s and 1960s. Doors gained fame with her roles in films like Yield to the Night in 1956 and The Unholy Wife in 1957, which showcased her sultry appeal and acting talent. Apart from her on-screen achievements, Doors was equally known for her complex love life and numerous high-profile relationships. She was married three times, first to Dennis Hamilton, then to Richard Dawson, and finally to Alan Lake, with whom she had two sons. Beyond her marriages, Doors was linked to various rumored affairs with well-known figures, adding to her notoriety. Her most publicized and controversial relationship was with her first husband, Dennis Hamilton. Their marriage, marked by Hamilton's controlling behavior and Doors' rising stardom, created a tumultuous and often scandalous partnership that captivated the media. Doors passed away on May 4, 1984, from ovarian cancer. Despite her personal life often overshadowing her career, Doors left a lasting impact on British cinema with her striking performances and enduring charm. Number 4. Louise Brooks was a distinctive actress and dancer known for her iconic bob haircut and enigmatic screen presence, most prominent in the 1920s and early 1930s. Brooks gained fame with her roles in silent films such as Pandora's Box in 1929 and Diary of a Lost Girl in 1929, where her performances left a lasting impression on the film industry. In addition to her acting talent, Brooks was also known for her complex and unconventional love life, marked by numerous affairs and relationships. She never married, but her romantic entanglements with notable figures like Charlie Chaplin, George Preston Marshall, and William S. Paley were well publicized. Her most notable and controversial relationship was with George Preston Marshall, which was characterized by its volatility and intensity, captivating the media and public alike. Brooks passed away on August 8, 1985, from a heart attack. Despite her personal struggles and the decline of her career in Hollywood, Brooks's contributions to cinema, particularly her influence on film style and acting, have left an enduring legacy. Stay tuned until the end of the video to meet legendary characters and hear their mysterious stories. Number 3. Marion Davies was a talented actress and film producer, most prominent in the 1920s and 1930s. Davies gained fame through her comedic and dramatic roles in films such as When Knighthood Was in Flower in 1922 and Show People in 1928, showcasing her versatility and charm. 
Despite her successful career, Davies is perhaps best known for her long-term relationship with newspaper tycoon William Randolph Hearst, which overshadowed much of her professional achievements. She was never married, but her romantic involvement with Hearst, who was already married, was one of Hollywood's most talked about affairs. This relationship was marked by Hearst's lavish support for her career and the extravagant parties they hosted at Hearst Castle, drawing significant media attention. Davies' most publicized and controversial relationship was undoubtedly with Hearst, and their partnership remained strong until his death in 1951. Marion Davies passed away on September 22, 1961, from cancer. Despite the complexities of her personal life, Davies left a lasting impact on Hollywood with her significant contributions to early cinema and her enduring legacy as a pioneering woman in film. Number 2. Clara Bow was a dazzling actress and the quintessential flapper of the Roaring Twenties, most prominent in the 1920s and early 1930s. Bow's fame skyrocketed with her performance in It in 1927, where she became known as the It Girl, epitomizing the spirit of the jazz age with her vivacious and carefree persona. Despite her successful career, Bow's personal life was fraught with scandal and complexity. She was married once, to actor Rex Bell, with whom she had two sons. Outside of her marriage, Bo's life was marked by numerous rumored affairs with notable figures such as director Victor Fleming and actor Gary Cooper. Her most notorious and widely publicized affair was with Gilbert Rowland, a relationship that captured the public's imagination with its intensity and passion. The relationship, along with her mental health struggles and a highly publicized lawsuit involving her secretary, added to the media frenzy surrounding her. Bo retired from acting in the early 1930s and lived a relatively quiet life until her death on September 27, 1965, from a heart attack. Despite the challenges in her personal life, Bo left an indelible mark on Hollywood as a pioneering actress who brought a new level of charisma and energy to the silver screen. Number 1. Mabel Norman was a pioneering actress, director, and writer in early Hollywood, most prominent in the 1910s and 1920s. She gained fame through her work with Max Sennett's Keystone Studios, particularly in comedy shorts like Mabel's Strange Predicament in 1914 where she starred alongside Charlie Chaplin. Norman's comedic talent and on-screen charm made her one of the era's most beloved stars. However, her personal life was as turbulent as her career was successful. Norman never married, but she was romantically linked to several prominent figures, including fellow actor Max Sennett and director William Desmond Taylor. Her most notorious and controversial relationship was with William Desmond Taylor, whose unsolved murder in 1922 involved Norman as one of the last people to see him alive, leading to widespread media speculation and scandal. Her involvement in this case, along with her struggles with substance abuse, significantly impacted her career. Mabel Norman passed away on February 23, 1930, from tuberculosis. Despite her personal difficulties, she left an indelible mark on the film industry with her groundbreaking work in early cinema and her enduring legacy as one of Hollywood's first female comedy stars. Thank you for following our captivating stories. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s for more intriguing stories and hidden aspects behind Hollywood's glamorous facade. Tap the notification bell so you never miss an update from us.